Back in 2007, when I was looking at becoming a flight attendant, there was a flight attendant who said, once you get this airline blood in you, it's really hard to get out. And just over eight years ago, I worked my last flight as a flight attendant, and I have found that to be absolutely true. Hi, my name is Sean Corcoran. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm looking at the staff assistant one position there for American Airlines, and I have nothing else to say right now except next slide. The job listing on the website asks that the applicant has a working knowledge of PowerPoint. It even has its own little bullet. So I put together this PowerPoint from scratch to show you what I can do a little bit. So we'll go ahead and start the slideshow. Uh, I gained the experience mostly from my uh, recruiting days in the Army and my uh, time in college where I sat through literally hundreds of presentations and gave quite a few myself. And there was one thing that really annoyed me that when people would put PowerPoint presentations together, and that would be to put a link to a video. And here's why it annoyed me. Number one, the link to the video could have ads in it, and that could totally take your audience away from where you had them. Number two, the link could be broken. Number three, what if there's no internet? What are you going to do? And I'm sorry if I seemed a little confrontational, but when I filmed that, I was having flashbacks to the numerous times that I sat through multiple presentations in which the linked videos just weren't working. So some of the experience that I have with the soft, some software, uh, Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint as asked for in the job listing. I have a pretty good working knowledge of a lot of the Adobe uh, uh Creative Suite, uh, Photoshop, Premiere, Audition, and After Effects. Don't know if I'll need them, but I got them. Uh, Prezi's great. I like Prezi a lot as long as not everybody's using Prezi because then it just gets repetitious. Windows and Mac, proficient in both. Uh, Any Desk and OBS, I've used quite a bit. But unfortunately, there is a, a drawback that I have on the listing. The um, software that they ask for on the site, the staff admin, Cognos, SharePoint, WorkBrain, and AutoTA. I do not have a working knowledge of those, just being completely upfront and honest. However, there has never been any software that I haven't been able to figure out. And that mostly comes from because at the Art Institute of Las Vegas, I'm just being honest here, they didn't really teach us how to use a lot of the programs that much. So... I spent a lot of time figuring things out on my own. So with some training, or if you just want me to, I could probably learn it on my own. So we'll talk a little bit more about my job history. And we'll start with what brought me to this dance in the first place. Way back when I was a flight attendant at Comair Airlines, I was having the time of my life. I absolutely loved working with the passengers and serving them. I absolutely miss dearly the travel that I got to do. And most importantly though, I never let that number one thing skip my mind and that was the safety of the crew and the passengers. From there, I became a student at the Art Institute of Las Vegas full time where I studied film and video production. But I think the number one thing I took away from there was the fact that if you have a deadline and you're not working as a team to meet that deadline, you're not gonna meet that deadline, which is unfortunate because deadlines are the most important thing. <laughs> So from there, I decided to become a bellman at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, which is kind of like being a flight attendant on the ground. I got to work with people from all over the world. I got to hone my customer service skills there. I also picked up new ones, new ones along the way. And I even got to work with luggage. So like I said, it was like I was a flight attendant again, but I wasn't getting the best part of it, which was getting to travel. After that, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go try to do this film and video thing, which I'm doing now when it's working. I, I love it. It's fun, but it's not providing me with the travel. I'm getting all of this stuff out of doing it, but I'm not getting the travel. But before all of this happened, let me rewind to back when I graduated high school. I joined the army. I became an infantryman where I picked up those essential team member and leadership skills. And then I became a recruiter which put me in an office and when I took the military test, uh, my highest score, my there's 11 scores and my highest score oddly was clerical. So I ended up, maybe that's why they se selected me to be a recruiter. I don't know why they did, but that may have been it. But I picked up a lot of office experience there and I would like to do it for American Airlines as well for the staff assistant one technical operations listing that's on the 
American Airlines website. So before we go any farther or further, I know that I have to take a typing test. So let's get to that. That was fast, I think. I just typed in Google typing test and took the first one that I saw. So I don't know if it matches up to your test or your 35 words per minute, but I thought I'd just give you an example of what I can do. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for checking out this video resume of mine. My name is Sean Corcoran. I'm applying for the staff assistant one technical operations listing on the American Airlines website. And I hope all of you have a most excellent day. 